And finally tonight, a rare and exclusive insight into the science behind an elite football club. Port Adelaide is revered as the fittest team in the AFL and it doesn't happen by accident. I was invited into their main closed training session of the week and was amazed at how far technology has advanced in the four years since I retired. The players are primed for punishment. Massive day ahead, Trav. What to expect? Yeah, it's another big one. I think Wednesday's probably our biggest day, biggest day of the week. With match day like precision, coaches and staff assume their positions for what will be one of the most brutal sessions of the power's toughest pre-season ever. You've got to make sure you get every session right and, and again we'll go for a big one today. Each player is fitted with GPS and heart rate monitors, their every move recorded and dissected. There's no hiding in any aspect of their training preparation now with all this technology. Be sharp here boys, take it up a notch. Head of Sports Science Stuart Graham is monitoring a feed of speed, distance, time and heart rate data. A 9.25. As well as providing a constant flow of information to coaches who are wired for sound. The session now is starting to ramp up in intensity. As the heart rates rise and metres tick over, the occasional injury is a price the power is willing to pay. The program designed so that each player is covering 20% more distance than in a full game. Is the idea to overtrain them to bring them back to yeah, games? Is that what the, the plan exactly is? Exactly that. You want the game to not be a shock to the system, really. Let's do it! Let's do it! Players are only allowed a 60 second drinks break, which they must run to. It's just gone 11 o'clock and the players have been out there for over two hours. They've been pushed to their absolute limits and they've still got another hour ahead of them. Pretty buggy. It's pretty tough, but this is where we get our most out of our, our training and we keep pushing through now. Boat leads the way as the intensity shifts up another gear. Don't let him get that ball out. Don't let him get it out. Don't let him get it out. There's certainly periods in a training session that you just want to collapse um, and you don't think you can go anymore. This up, boys. Die. Come on. Finally over, players make a beeline to check their stats. They know the numbers themselves, they know what those speeds feel like in, on training. The captain's heart rate soared past 90% capacity for much of the session, and while the club won't reveal the exact distance, he's covered well over 15 kilometres. Pokey was exceptional again, he's, he's put, putting together back and back of session after session of quality work and he just leads the way so well uh, with demanding and intensity and you get the numbers again today. We really stood up again today and, and we're able to get through not only just to, to train but to, to improve as well. Port pays $115,000 a year for this technology. As well, they've just appointed the AFL's first full-time GPS analyst. Come September, they hope their investment is worth every cent. We think we've got the best in the business.